Hey everybody, this is Catelyn. In the first episode of Book Before Looks, we're gonna review a really special book. It's Willpower by Ro Baumeister. Now, this is not the actual book, but we're still gonna do it. The reason we're doing this book, and I think it's really fascinating, I've read this book when I was maybe 16, but not quite, so 15 and a half or something. And it really impressed upon me because it was the first time in my life that I've discovered there's this thing called willpower that I didn't have any sort of understanding of that you can control and that thing allows you to make choices in your own will. So that was really interesting to me. Now the first thing I learned from this book and I wanna make this kind of the first lesson is there's this thing that we call willpower and allow, that allows us to do things. It's first limited, it's two, it's the way it works is based on chemistry, so it's really influenced by why, by why we eat, by what we do, and all these things. And that, that, was, that really blew my mind because before I read this book, um, I think when I was 15, one, the, the first couple of books I read, one of them was about health and how you can eat so that you can optimize your brain and your body and all these things. And that gave me a tremendous advantage, but I didn't realize it. So when I was reading this book, it was talking about all these things like, okay, you need glucose and glucose uses, you need glucose in your brain in order to create willpower and that gives you the kind of energy, the mental energy to do things and that's called willpower. And I was like, okay, that's really interesting, but I have a lot of that. I feel like I have a lot of that, but how do I? And a big part of that obviously was, was my nutrition. So I think that's a really interesting first lesson. So now that we know that willpower is limited and it's chemistry in our brains, then the next most important thing is if I have a limited resource, economically speaking, the f only thing I should be worrying about is how can I use my limited resource in the best way possible so I can attain the things I want. And when I read that, I think it was in the first kind of like uh, first 25% of the book that really struck my mind because it made me think, okay, so there's if I have a limit of re a limited resource of this fuel called glucose that allows me to have willpower and mental energy, I think it would be smarter to use that against the things I wanna do, right? Um, and you may think that's common sense, but it didn't make that much sense to me at the time. So I also s sat down and thought more about it and I went realizing, okay, so when I'm with my friends and we're talking about things and all of a sudden they turn on negative stuff and you can feel like it's draining so much energy out of you or when you're when you're with somebody and you take 20 minutes to make a decision and when you're um at a restaurant and your friend orders like the the nastiest food ever and you have to sit there and use your mental energy just to contain yourself and not not like not order that yourself or get a bite out of it and i was thinking there's all these places I'm using my willpower and I'm not using it in the right places because when I need to get down to my work and at that, mo at that time when I was 16, I didn't really have my work, right? But I was in that journey and I was doing things and I was still dancing at the time. Um, I realized I w when I got to my work, I didn't have any mental energy. And I thought that, that was brilliant. Like, okay, so you have this limited fuel and everybody's just completely wasting it, right? So I was like, okay, I'm on to something. Let's not waste it. So what, what did I do? I did number one. I tried to um, be around people uh, that really gave me energy, that drained energy out of me. I tried to be around people that allowed me to conserve my willpower and my glucose and allowed me to be more, not constrain myself from doing things and from making decisions and all these things. And that's more so negative people and people that are not really an added value to our lives. So that's the first thing I did. The, sec the second thing I did is I looked at my nutrition and about the things I ate and I really love food. So the people that know me, you guys know, like I really love food. Um, so I looked at my nutrition, I realized I kept in the house at all times chocolate and, and like uh, cereal and, uh, and like, stuff that I was not supposed to eat, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna have some. And when I opened the fridge, I realized I was using a mental energy just like, because I had the choice of getting chocolate. I was like, okay, let me get the chocolate. No, 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 let's not get the chocolate. Let's get the freaking banana, whatever, right? So I was eating mental energy there. So I could, okay, 
get that out. Um, and I was also um, kind of putting myself out and blocking myself out of situations that drained me in general. So if I didn't like, to, if I didn't want to go to a party, uh, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna go. And made the decision, stuck to it. I was, I was not letting my brain to go on a three hour overthink round and consume all my glucose on stuff that doesn't matter. I'm gonna do it or I'm not gonna do it. Either case, I'm gonna make a decision and not think about it ever again. And I, that, that really painted a picture. Next thing. Uh, okay, now when you have that, when you understand that it's limited resource that you have willpower and when you understand that there's all these things that are draining your willpower and you need to spend it on the things that are important to you, um, I think the kind of, the next important thing is what, is important to you, right? And I'm not talking about goals and all these things, but I'm talking about what should you use your willpower on, right? And I don't know what you should use it, but here's how I use it. Um, basically what I've done, and I think this has been tremendously helpful to everything that I've done, is I've set up routines in my day, okay? And I have these kind of series of things that I do each and every day and each and every night, and I just do them every single day to keep me in the same line and follow the same line of actions, okay? So I have a morning routine and a night routine. I'm gonna describe them to you right now. M night, uh, no, let's start with morning, morning first. So not morning routine, I keep saying night for whatever reason. So morning routine, first thing I do in the morning, I do something that I read in a book from a Navy SEAL, I don't remember the name, but it was beautifully spoken and it was a video on YouTube that went like viral with like 200 million views that said the same thing as I make my bet. Okay, and it's really hard to make your freaking bed in the morning. Oh, oh, sorry, before I make my bed, I don't snooze the alarm, okay? Because if you, because if you snooze the alarm, that's basically the biggest, um, the biggest proof from yourself that you do not, that you do not wanna use willpower in that moment, right? So you need to switch that, you need to use it, okay? And something that I think is interesting is using the five second rule to use the willpower in the morning. So first thing I do, I don't snooze the alarm. I try as much as I can to not do that. Then the second thing I do is I make my bed. Now making your bed in the morning is kind of hard and like you may say, why would you, why would you do that? I do it because it's the first thing I do in the morning and I do it really well and it gives me an initial self-esteem boost and state boost and kind of the first thing I've done, already accomplished like not even three minutes um, in my waking time and it's already done. And that's really interesting what it does to your brain. It's a small thing, but it works. After that, what I do um, is I go get a glass of water because I know water is important. So that's not actually a routine. It's just something that I know it's healthy. So you should drink water. Otherwise, you will just dry out, I think. I don't know <laughs> how that happens. Um, then I go back to my, uh, to my uh, uh, bedroom and I do my 20 minute meditation and then I read my affirmations. Now this is what I do in the morning. I'm not gonna talk in deep about it. Let's go to the night meditation. At night, what I do, and this is really interesting, is I always take a cold shower, then I read, I write in my journal what happened in that day, and then I read my affirmations. The reason I do the cold showers at night is because when you have little willpower left, right, which is what most people end up at the end of the day, that's the moment where people quit. And that's the moment where I want to succeed, right? I'm like, I wanna punch them in the face when they don't have energy and I don't have energy, but I've trained myself to use that better, right? So that's kind of my routine and that's how I use willpower in my day. And this basically allows me to control my state each and every day and it's a beautiful thing. So if there's one thing that I would suggest you should use willpower on, is build out routines that bring out the best in you every single day and keep you to have sustainable results in every single day that you have, okay? Because what it does for me is it keeps me on an amazing state every day because of the affirmations, because of the exercise and everything. So now you understand all those things. I think that's kind of the three main things I've got from the book. Now the fourth thing is one of my um, things that I've got to learn in the last two years is, um, the, the way kind of the way I kind of went with my life is at first when I was 15 and I kind of got started doing things I really went off and um, did so many things based on willpower only and 
I was always like this. Like I always had this immense drive and always had this immense power to do things and everything. And I think that's beautiful. Um, what I found later on is that there's outside of willpower, which is basically our personal will uh, to just make the choices that we want. There's always there's also this thing called, I, I mean, I, I call it um, um, in, intrinsic motivation or I think it's more of a spiritual type of motivation. And I think it's interesting because of course, willpower is the thing that we need to use, right? Uh, and that's always something that's our disposal. We need to really train that. We need to have that zoned in and we need to do, we need to have that capacity. But I think in order to get to the best of the best of the best and to get to the highest levels of performance, I think one needs to understand what is spiritually what drives them, what it's ultimately kind of their higher level purpose and what they're doing. And when you align those two, that's where things started honing in. And kind of how my story went on doing this is I was doing all these things based on willpower only. And when I kind of sat down for like a month straight and just really figured out what's my direction, why I'm doing all these things, what's my purpose, what do I believe in, what I don't believe in, what do I care about, what I don't care about, and really honed in into myself. When I did that, something really amazing happened. I had both powers now. Right, and I had this amazing muscle, which was motivation, and then I also had this amazing, infinite energy that's spiritual energy that's like intrinsic motivation. I do not know how to describe that really. And when I aligned those two, it's really the moment when I really started amping up the agency. And that's kind of an interesting coincidence if you think about it. I don't think it's a coincidence, but when those those two, two things aligned, that really made the difference for me. So. Kind of the getaway for this for this video. I know it's the first one; it's kind of rough, uh, but I really think this concept is going to be interesting. The books before looks concept. Uh, books is really something I believe in. Um, but for this video specifically, I think the getaway is we have two types of forces we could use. One is willpower, and one is one is personal power, and one is spiritual power. This personal one is willpower. The spiritual one is intrinsic motivation. And in order to really be at the highest performance that we can, we need, we need to tune in both. And when you do that, things really start to happen. So that was the video. Hope you enjoy it. This has been Catalin with episode number one of Book Before Looks. It's amazing. See you soon. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. The next big chapter of the most important is book. The knee is the seven princes that I went into test. This is a trial by life. Sounds good.